Thank you. Yes. And joining us now is USGS seismologist Robert Graves. We thank you for joining us. We talked with you a little bit earlier this morning, and we were talking about the fact that this earthquake was actually larger than the Northridge quake that caused so much damage. And we were talking to you during the commercial break about fault lines. Now, this one's a little more complicated. Yes, so this earthquake did rupture up to the ground surface, but it seems to be uh, going through a fault system is mm -hmm. what we would call it. It's not a, just a single fault trace that we can map. Uh, that's not uncommon. Uh, I think it just means that this is an area where, even though we have active faults, they're not as active as, say, the San Andreas, which is a much cleaner fault trace. Now, that can potentially impact the level of ground motions. Uh, we're still doing some analysis. You know, there's a lot of data that's coming in. Uh, we saw in the videos there, mm -hmm. you know, like in that restaurant, Boy, those people experienced really strong shaking. And when you're that close to a large earthquake, it, it's hard to stand up, right? Right. You know, and that's why the best thing to do is duck, cover, and hold on. Don't try to run outside or don't try to move around if possible. Talking about what we're supposed to do, what we're not supposed to do, I know you have family. What have you told your family about what they should and shouldn't be doing over the next week or so while this system is still very active? Yeah, well, I would say for most of us in Southern California, uh, this earthquake is a reminder mm -hmm. that we live in earthquake country, and that was mentioned by Jasmine as well. So what I've told my family is, hey, make sure that we have some water. Make sure that we have some provisions, you know, mm -hmm. just in case. Uh, it's a good time for everybody to do that, and I've heard a number of people are actually doing that kind of thing. Um, I'm as human as the rest of us, <laughs> right? Uh, so I was sitting in my kitchen when the shaking started, and mm -hmm. I got a jolt of adrenaline, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's scary. I, I, I get that. Yeah, it's okay, though, to just go out and do our normal activities. Shouldn't be afraid yes. to be in crowds or under things or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it, the, the level of risk ha for most of us hasn't changed because of this sequence. Okay. You know, uh, we say the San Andreas is, is ready to go. That's true. We have a number of other active faults. An earthquake or earthquake sequence like we, we've had over the last few days, that can occur and does typically occur in California every 15 to 20 years, mm -hmm. you know, and it, you know, this time it happened to be out in the desert, mm -hmm. it could be someplace else the next time. All right. Dr. Graves, thank you so much for joining oh, us. We're going to you. have you back again at 8 o'clock um, to talk a little bit more about what people should be doing to prepare and uh, some of the odds or percentages of uh, seeing even larger shaking going on. Yeah, we appreciate okay. you. We know you're exhausted. It's been a busy three <laughs> days for all of us, right? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.